The next section is about human respiration. It's important not to confuse respiration with breathing. Breathing is the ventilation of the lungs to allow gas exchanges to take place. Respiration is the process of transferring or releasing energy from food. Respiration is a series of chemical reactions that take place in every cell in the body to unlock energy contained in food. Different foods store different amounts of energy, which is measured in kilojoules. The amount of energy given off is the same as if the food were burnt in the laboratory, but during respiration, the energy is released in a series of enzyme-regulated steps to avoid any damage to the cells from overheating. Respiration can be aerobic, that means it uses oxygen, or anaerobic, carried out in the absence of oxygen. Let's look at aerobic respiration first. Most human respiration is aerobic, using oxygen from air that's breathed in. In aerobic respiration, food, such as glucose, is completely broken down and energy is released. The glucose is oxidised by oxygen inhaled from the air to produce carbon dioxide and water, and energy. The word equation for aerobic respiration is glucose plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus water, and energy. The balanced chemical equation for that is C6H12O6, glucose, plus 6O2, oxygen, gives 6CO2, carbon dioxide, plus 6H2O, water, and 2,900 kilojoules of energy per mole. Now, anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration is the release of energy without using oxygen. Much less energy is released this way, making it a less efficient process. Fermentation is an example of anaerobic respiration. During fermentation, glucose is broken down, in the absence of oxygen, into alcohol and carbon dioxide, with the release of a little energy. The word equation for this anaerobic fermentation is glucose from food with no oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus ethanol and a little energy. The balanced chemical equation is C6H12O6 gives 2CO2 plus 2C2H5OH and only 84 kilojoules of energy per mole. When human cells run out of oxygen, they change from aerobic to anaerobic respiration. This can be caused by vigorous exercise, which can create an oxygen debt. This is how it works. Oxygen is supplied by the lungs and carried to all cells. Harder exercise uses up energy faster, so faster and deeper breathing is needed to get more oxygen into the blood. This makes the heart beat faster to take this oxygen to the muscles. The mitochondria cells in the muscles combine oxygen with glucose faster to provide more energy. Eventually, a limit is reached when the heart and lungs cannot supply oxygen to the muscles any faster. How did the muscles then get the extra energy they need? Muscle cells try to get extra energy by respiring anaerobically, without oxygen. But then the glucose is not fully oxidised, but broken down to produce lactic acid and a smaller amount of energy. That C6H12O6, the glucose, gives 2 C3H6O3 lactic acid and 120 kilojoules of energy. That lactic acid can cause a problem. Lactic acid accumulates in the muscles and must be broken down by combining with oxygen. So although you've stopped exercising, you continue to breathe hard. This breathing takes in more oxygen to break down the lactic acid. Anaerobic respiration builds up an oxygen debt to get the extra energy needed. Breaking down the lactic acid repays the debt. The breathing rate will only come down to normal once all the lactic acid in the muscles has been broken down. That's why people still pant for breath long after they've stopped exercising, is to pay back the oxygen debt.
Here's a question about respiration. Explain why we breathe faster when we are taking exercise. There are three marks on offer, so the question wants three facts. The simple answer to why we breathe faster when we're taking exercise is that we need more oxygen. But that's only one fact, so that answer would only get one mark. Our muscles need more oxygen and produce more carbon dioxide. That's two facts, so that would get two marks. A full answer would be, when we take exercise, our muscles need more energy, so tissue respiration has to go faster. Our muscles need more oxygen and produce more carbon dioxide when they respire. That would get three marks. <laughs>